Hey guys, welcome to Kiwi Classics and Customs. We're working on large marge today, a little bit of remedial work this evening, and mainly just wiring, trying to get a few things working properly that weren't working before. Um, gonna run, this is our electric fuel pump line heading down through the back. I'm gonna put a relay in here. We've got some relays set up to go. So we're just gonna hook that into the ignition switch. So it comes on with the ignition. We don't have to plug it underneath. Uh, but uh, yeah, so there's that to do. Uh, and the other thing we're looking at is the starting. Uh, I think if you were watching the earlier videos, you know, we had a push button starter. Uh, that's kind of a little hard to, to live with, you know, on a daily basis. So it's a matter of hooking up the solenoid kind of correctly. Uh, what I figured out was the one that was on it when we first picked it up, like just uh, was frozen, it wasn't working. Uh, the only thing we could get that, that kind of got us moving was one out of a Ford, like a Mustang. Um, looks almost the same, but it is a little different. So there's a little, I've kind of figured out what I'm gonna do. It's uh, one thing we did hook up. Now, just to kind of backtrack, I guess. The Mopar one has two terminals like this, and you have this little wire, which I managed to find. Thanks, thanks to getting a wiring diagram off the internet, that's a big help. Uh, so yeah, figured out this yellow wire here was supposed to go, that, that's your trigger from your switch. You know, when you do that spring-loaded part of the switch, engage your starter motor, that's that. The Mopar setup, where's it gone now? One of these wires here. This little black wire goes down to the transmission and that's your, your park neutral safety switch. But unlike the Fords and the Chevys, this is, uh, it gives you a ground when it's in neutral. So it, that wasn't marrying up with the, uh, with the Mustang. So what I'm gonna have to do is just a second relay and basically turn the power supply from the switch into a ground. So that, you know, we, we get a ground, we get a power in and it'll crank. Um, now I could, I guess, go back with the old Mopar one um, they're about twice the price, which is still not that high. Um, but what I do like about the Ford one is that second terminal on the Ford one actually gives you a 12 volt out under cranking, which we've got running around and to the coil, uh, which Mopar didn't do back in the day, back in 59. It was just nine volts all the time. Uh, using this Ford style solenoid, uh, I can hook this wire up, which runs all the way around here to the coil. That's an out under cranking, so we just pop that on there, and that just boosts the starting voltage, uh, which was something they figured out kind of in the early 60s. So, uh, yeah, so in order to do that, I've got another add another relay. So that's gonna be these two guys, one for the fuel pump, one for the starting. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna dive under the dash and see if my theory works. Okay. okay. Pretty much kind of got this wiring taken care of now. We've got the relays inside, I've tidied this wiring up. This looks a little prettier. It's not quite how I want it yet. Eventually this electric fuel pump setup will go away. Uh, but yeah, that's we're just it's there, it's it's kind of there right on the spot. So we're gonna use that till we get the main, the correct actual factory tank um, sorted out. So let's jump inside and uh, see if it works. Yeah. Well, there's a fuel pump going. I don't know whether you guys can hear that, but the fuel pump's going off the key, so that's nice. Now, I'm going to put it in drive, and it shouldn't start. No, no start. Neutral. All right, that's gonna make it much more pleasant to drive, just be able to jump in and go. Uh, now, the other little trick that I got done today. Ta-da! We got wipers. It was all on the switch, just bad, dirty old connections in the switch. Uh, and obviously we need a new wiper blades as well. The thing it doesn't do is automatically park. Now, I've gotta do a bit of research to find out whether it's supposed to park automatically or whether it was, you know, you just had to time your switch right back in the day. So I've got to find out about that. Uh, now, there's one other thing I want to show you before we go. Uh, so let's jump out again. Switch 
tags today. And while we're going through our stuff, we found this, which is Redmond Plymouth Antelope Valley in California. Uh, that's probably an hour out of um, kind of Los Angeles, uh, somewhere between LA and uh, Bakersfield. So yeah, I did a little bit of research on these guys. This is a, a relatively small town-ish, uh, but it was a guy who did very well for himself, Mr. Redmond. He opened up the Plymouth dealer in 1960, uh, and I'm not sure that it's still running today, but he ran it through to when he retired uh, in 1981. So this is the plate frame that was on the car. So he didn't open till 60, so the cars are 59. So I can't say that I think it was, you know, sold as a new car by these guys, but potentially, you know, a couple of year old car, uh, used car, they sold it back in the day. And yeah, this was on the car you know, when it was first advertised for sale. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna take the plates, obviously, get that on the back. And we are road kind of legal, uh, road worthy as far as you know, getting it started, that kind of thing. We do still have to get to the brakes uh, and improve those. They're working, but mm, uh, but yeah. So gonna do that. That'll be over the next week or so. I've got to get the drums off, measure them, make sure we order the right sizes uh, for the actual drums and shoes, and get them coming because they're not something that you know O'Reilly's or Napa are gonna have. Uh, yeah. So progress continues all right well uh i'm gonna call it a night go home now uh, i've got some uh, i've got a some little bits and pieces to get because it's a valentine's day tomorrow so gotta keep that straight and see you on the next video take it easy guys